I'm Robin Raskin. I run Living in Digital Times, a company that we've now been doing The Last Gadget Standing for 13 years. Um, so I may be The Last Gadget Standing really soon. Um, but really soon. But uh, I want to give a, a big shout out and like you to our sponsors, Lenovo, who help us make this better every single year. And they've been wonderful. You can see how old that picture is by the products I have in my hand. <laughs> Again, I think it was my first Blackberry. Take you through a little walk through history. Some of our, in the 13 years, OnStar, Zodiac, is now gone. Roomba, which is still around today. Dell Axon, Cardship, Inno, Size. You recognize a lot of these products. And the point of recognizing a lot of these products is you picked them. You said that these would be the winners, that these would be survivors, that these were, were going to change our lives, and so they did. And last year, you picked Lytro, which is a fabulous camera, and Swivel. So with no further ado, I, I want to go through a couple of housekeeping things. First of all, we had a lot of entries this year. Our judges, who I'll introduce you to in a second, were fabulous. But these were the 25 products that we had to finally make a decision and have long dialogues about. And we want to give them a shout out for being so wonderful. And you should go see their booths at the show floor. Our judges are like world class. They've been doing this for a while. Just can you guys stand up for a second? The judges are from, from, from everywhere. PC World, Laptop Magazine, Zip Brothers. Um, they're wonderful friends and really smart people. The rules. So you're going to see companies with incredible passion today who have literally going to bare their souls for you. It's sort of like the high school play meets Las Vegas meets Survivor meets America's Got Gadgets. <laughs> and I really want you to um, recognize that every one of them is a winner because they got to the top ten, even though there will be an online winner and a winner in this room. Every presenter knows they have four minutes. Music comes up, the hook comes out if they go over. Every gadget that you think about, we're looking for who's really going to survive, who's going to change our lives and have the product that will mean the, the most and be here next year, as in so many products at CES sort of find their way to the great product graveyard in the sky. When we get to voting, we'll practice. We have an applause meter, and the sound in the room will determine the winner. I'm not going to make you do it now, but we will practice later. And. Um, Stick around for mobile app showdown after this, um, and go see our displays in South Hall and at the Venetian. And now, I know what you're really waiting for, uh, my good friends, and I think you're everybody's good friends, um, John Hine and Gary Delboni, who are kind enough to come out here and love products as much as we do. Thanks for having us. Uh, we're really happy to be back again. I love looking out here and seeing a full room. This is clearly one of those events. This is John and I's third year, but it's one of those events that's clearly, like uh, John was saying, like a must stop when you're at CES. And I think it's because there's just a lot of cool gadgets that I want to see what's kind of gadget. Yeah, if we weren't up here, we'd be sitting with you, that's for sure. Uh, we didn't send these pictures, they were chosen by Robin, I think. I have a lot more hair in mine, and I'm holding some kind of, I think, KFC Double Down there. John's, this is John's press photo. John has a show on Discovery Channel called uh, Fast Food Maybe. Because John loves fast food, so that's his press photo. Me, there's a room in